what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, then hello. Today we're gonna be doing just a really simple video. I'm just gonna be upgrading some of my reptile enclosures. Oh my god. That would be my rabbit. Stop chewing. So back to the video. We're gonna be upgrading these two guys here, my Pueblin milk snake and my ball python, to that. Ooh. I'm also filming this at nighttime, so everybody's lights are gonna be turning off like really soon. This is the setup that I currently have. It's not a great setup, to be honest. I've been slowly switching over to front opening tanks, just tanks like this to get into. I, you can see I've completely Frankensteined it, like just not convenient. I've had my ball python and my milk snake for about a year or two now, give or take. It'll be easier for me to access my snakes through these front opening doors. PVC also holds better humidity. They also hold heat better. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the reptile store to go and get some supplies. Then we're gonna take then we're gonna take some of their furnishings out to use for the new tanks, and then we're just gonna put the snakes into their new tanks. If you like this video and you wanna see more of my amazing and adorable animal friends, then please hit subscribe, like, and leave a comment below as well. Thanks guys a bunch for watching, and let's get into the video. We're gonna go get some supplies for the tank upgrades. And it's windy, but it is very nice outside. I also decided to get some uh, vegetables for the rabbits while I was uh, on my way here. And I'm losing my hat. We're just gonna ditch the hat. Say hi to Carly, everybody. It's a retic, yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen a young one in a while. A little bebop? A little one, yeah. This is what we're getting. And we'll add a catalog, why not? 
I was going to get the forest floor, but uh, my coworkers at the reptile store said that it was better to just actually get a bulk bag of cypress mulch. With the cypress mulch, they recommended that I probably dry it out and cook it a little bit because they could contain wood mites. Unlike the other substrates that are made specifically for the reptiles, this is actually made for landscaping and gardening. You can see it right there. It's a garden product. Ugh. All right, so I have my oven set to 305. And I'm just gonna use some old baking pans here. Whew. It's hot. All right, we're gonna let that cool down. I also made some leaf litter for the enclosures as well to give it a more natural kind of look. I'll be doing a video on how to do this as well as some other cool DIY projects as well. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we're finally ready to set up these tanks. So here behind me, I have a four foot long by two foot wide PVC tank. It's split down the middle into two compartments, as you can see here. And each compartment is around 30 gallons. One large tank is about the equivalent of 60 gallons. All of the PVC tanks that I have here, I actually got used in secondhand uh, from the reptile store. I guess these were just some old tanks that they didn't need anymore. Uh, sometimes customers will come and just give us their old tanks as well. So um, as soon as I saw these, I scooped them up for a really, really, really good price. I remember seeing the one and just wanting the one and then I saw that there was two more. So I bought all three of those. And for a while now, I've been looking for one with uh, the two compartments and one finally showed up. So that was really convenient. All right, we're gonna take a closer look here. It looks a little used, but I've cleaned it out pretty thoroughly with some vinegar and water. So it is actually clean in here, um, just some scratches and stuff. But once we have all the stuff in the tank, it should look really nice. The tanks also already came with these pot lights in here. I find that they aren't the brightest and aren't the greatest for display purposes, but they're already in here and they work. So maybe once they burn out, I'll replace them with some better ones. So yeah, these are uh, looking pretty good. It's going to be a lot more roomy for my snakes and they'll have a lot more floor space and climbing space as well. And they'll be able to grow into them quite nicely. The first thing we are going to do is we're going to go put on the heat tape. Put the heat tape on. Now we have the bottom. So here I have a four foot long um, by six inches wide of heat tape. They already hooked it all up for me. And so that the heat tape stays flush to the bottom of the tank, I just have some pieces of um, aluminum tape here, but this is just what I have on hand. All right, so it's not the prettiest job, but it's at the bottom of the tank, so nobody's gonna be looking at it. As long as it stays and it works, then all's good. All right, let's flip this bad boy back. All right, got the thermostat hooked up and I'm just going to set that to 90. And there we have it. It's just easier to have these guys on one heat pad. Ball pythons like it a little warmer, around 90 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, while Puebla milk snakes like it a little bit cooler, around 85 to 90 degrees. Set it to 90, so that's kind of like a good compromise for the two, and that should be a pretty suitable hot spot. So I've taken all of the decorations and accessories out of the tank, and this is Boo everybody, say hi. And now I'm just gonna place my snakes into some snake bags in the meantime, and just place them in an area where I can keep a good eye on them. And now for October, my Pueblan milk snake. She's so pretty, guys. So I've bagged the snakes up, I've taken all their furnishings from their habitat to use for their new tanks, 
and I think we're ready to uh, get building. What we do here is go back, 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 back. not happy about being in that bag. Just hang in there. I'm not gonna give my ball python anything too special because I find that ball pythons are just bulldozers. You give them something nice and they're just gonna pull out it. Have some forest moss here that I'm gonna add to the ball pythons tank and a little bit to the milk snakes tank for a human hide. So happy that these tanks are finally done. Let's go take a closer look. So this one on the left here is for my ball python. I have one hide here on the cooler side. And then back here, I have a bigger hide that's a little more hidden. That's on the warmer side in the back. Then I have two big branches here for him to climb on. A nice water dish that he can soak in. Some of that leaf litter just to give it a nice kind of natural look. And I kept it minimal with the greenery because as I said, these guys are just bulldozers. They'll just plow anything nice that you give to them. So this is, this is nice. I think this is nice. I think he will like it. Not that he cares. But for me, it is visually appealing and hopefully he will not ruin it. Then to the right, we have my Pueblin milk snakes tank. Back here, she's got a small hide that's kind of hidden back there. And I find that she really likes to hide behind this log. Then I have another hide over here on the cooler side, a water dish big enough for her to soak in. Now I would like to actually get some uh, more furnishings for in here, maybe like a nice piece of like cork bark or something. But this is looking pretty good for now. I'm pretty happy with the tanks and I think they're looking great and I think we're ready to uh, introduce the snakes. I think first we're gonna introduce my ball python here. Hi. Let's see what he's up to. Still, still hiding. Well, you gotta come out because I have a new tank to show you. He's so shy. Let's go put Boo into his new enclosure. And then last but not least, we have October, my lovely milk snake. I'm sure she's eager to come out. Whoa! Where are you going? 
These guys will rarely bite, but they do like to musk. She's always so frantic when you first take her out and then she relaxes and realizes, oh, I'm not in any danger. <laughs> All right, now let's go put her in. And right away, she's burying herself into the substrate. That's all for today guys, just a super simple video. I actually forgot to film a proper outro. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this week's video. Don't forget to check out my other social media for more reptile and animal content. And as always, thanks a bunch for watching. Oh my god, stop! Why? No! Rabbits.